In the middle of the night, a large explosion took place inside a building. It was so loud that the tremors jolted Mayhul too. He wakes up immediately and calls the police to gather information about the incident. Sir, there was a bomb blast inside the building. Please reach the location instantly. Mayhul engines his car and leaves for the spot at once. I should call Alia too. Mayhul calls Alia, but her cell was switched off. She's probably sleeping. I'll have to go alone. Soon, Mayhul reaches a crossroad. There were two routes that led to the building. One road goes through Winston Park, but last week, it had been blocked due to construction work, and Mayhul wasn't sure if it was open for the public yet. The second road goes through the forest, but it was filled with numerous wild animals. They were known to be aggressive towards city folk. If they block Mayhul's way, he won't be able to reach the blast scene on time. Can you guys help Mayhul decide which route he should choose? Look closely at the second road, there are tire marks, suggesting that some cars have already taken the road. This means it is safe for him. Moreover, the second road can prove to be too dangerous for Mayhul. What if he is attacked by those wild elephants? Hence, he chooses the first road and successfully reaches the building. The scene was a wreck. The scheme had been destroyed completely and multiple people had been hurt. Mayhul gets out of his car and helps the police. He also tells everyone around to help them in rescuing injured people. Soon, he comes across a hand under a rubble of torn down wall, but he ignored it and walked ahead. But why? Can you guess? Look at it closely, it doesn't have any lines on the palm. How could this be possible? Hence, Mayhul knew that the hand was fake and must belong to a statue or a toy. After taking a long stroll in and around the complex, Mayhul concludes that there was no one inside the building. Suddenly, vans of several media and news channels arrive at the scene and began flooding Mayhul with questions. There was no one inside the building, so no casualties have been reported. We are still investigating the source of the bomb. Till then please cooperate with us. Right at that moment, there was another blast and everyone was left rattled. The city's tallest building was victim to the second bomb blast. It was exuding a green-colored gas in the air. Interesting. Very interesting. Things just took a massive turn. Soon, everyone around Mayhul start fainting and even Mayhul started losing consciousness. This must be sleeping gas. Mayhul had three ways to save himself. First, he could commandeer the police car near him and flee from the place. Second, he could use his car which is protected by a shield. But his car is 200 meters away and he might faint by the time he reaches it. Third, he could take shelter in a house nearby. Can you guess which option will be the most appropriate for Mayhul? The green gas can easily enter the house, so that's not an option. He also can't use the police van as it has an open sunroof and won't be able to escape the gas. But notice the surgical mask hung on the side of the car. Mayhul immediately grabs it and makes way towards his car. He could barely walk as the effects of the poisonous gas had started kicking in. Mayhul somehow manages to sit inside the car and activates its security system. Even though he had saved himself, he witnessed the police, media personnel, and public faint in front of him. I have never seen anything like this before. The entire city is at risk. I can't even fathom what would have happened if I fainted. Mayhul was lost in thought when a red car arrives at the scene. A man climbs out of the car, wearing a unique mask. His face wasn't visible. He clicks a picture of the bombed building and calls someone. Boss, the mission has been accomplished. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This means all this wasn't just a coincidence. Something big is about to happen. Mayhul immediately calls Alia again and even after multiple rings, she does not receive the call. Thank God at least Alia is safe. She did not pick Mayhul's call but he was still convinced that Alia was fine? How? Can you guess? Recall that after the first bomb blast, Mayhul called Alia and her cell was switched off. But now after the second one, her cell is back on. This means she is safe and sound. Mayhul proceeds to send all the details to Alia. She had been awakened by a scary nightmare. She dreamt that Mayhul was trapped in a prison and had been tied using ropes, while a poisonous gas chokes him to death. She wakes up startled and checks Mayhul's message. She also begins smelling the green gas. She pulls out a red pill from her fanny pack and hops onto the road. 
She reaches the crime scene and parks her bike beside Nahal's car. I was right indeed. Alia is safe. Just then, Alia texts Nahal, asking him to let her inside the car. Is this girl out of her mind? There's poisonous gas outside. Does she plan on killing me? But wait a second, why isn't the gas affecting her? He unlocks the doors of the car and Alia climbs inside. She then hands over a small box to Mehul. It was locked with a password. What's this Alia? Sir, there's a pill inside. Please have it. What kind of tablet? And why should I eat it? Filled with hesitation and confusion, Mehul tries to open the box. Can you guess which one of these options is the correct answer? Think properly and let me know your answers in the comments below. Let's now look at the answer. Notice that the double of the first digit forms the end of each number. For example, 2 times 2 is 4 and hence, the number 24. The double of 5 is 10, and hence, the number 510. Similarly, the double of 6 is 12, and so, the required password will be 612. He presses the button and the box clicks open. He extracts the pill and furiously interrogates Alia regarding its cause. Sir, the gas released in the city had a chemical called chlorophyll, which was responsible in making everyone unconscious. This is the antidote to that chemical. Mehul instantly chugs the pill down with water. Sometimes you prove to be useful and don't make me question my decision of appointing you as my assistant. We have to reach out to Dr. Sun Jana and scientist Bul Balea as soon as possible. The entire is in grave danger, we cannot waste another second. I am sure the scientist has some cure for everything that has been going on. The whole city was fast asleep, thanks to the green sleeping gas. On the other hand, Mehul and Alia were speeding their way towards Dr. Sunjana's house. They find themselves at a crossroads. There are three roads that lead up to Dr. Sunjana's house. The first one covers the whole city and is the longest route. The second one goes through the forest where they might encounter wild animals. The third one goes through Street 81 and is the shortest route, but it's usually extremely crowded with traffic. Can you guess which route should Mayhul choose? A, B, or C? The whole city is covered in the green gas and everyone has fainted due to it, so there will be no one on Road C, hence that's the correct choice. They move forward on Route C and come across a group of policemen who stop them in the middle of the road. After catching a mere glimpse, Mayhul understands that they were fake policemen, but how? Can you guess? Notice that none of them have masks on, but haven't fallen unconscious yet. This means that they had already consumed the antidote and belonged to the gang, responsible for the chemical blasts. Alia, be ready. Anything can happen right now. Mehul puts his mask on and gets out of the car. Almost immediately, they form a circle around Mehul and catch him. Alia hops out of the car and punches all four of the fake policemen. They fall to the ground and pass out instantly. Alia, how did you do that? Sir, I've never told you, but I have been a karate champ. Suddenly, a fake policeman pulls out a weird-looking gun and shoots it in the air. The bullet lights up in the sky, exuding a variety of bright lights. Alia, catch this guy immediately. He must be sending a signal to someone. Alia twists his neck and the guy gets unconscious. Why did you make him faint? I told you to catch him. Sir, we can insert a microchip in him and track his location when he goes to meet his boss. Great idea. They attach the microchip to the man and put the rest of them in Mayhul's car's hood and reach Dr. Sunjana's house. They get out of the car and suddenly a red light is seen, pointing on Alia's forehead. Mayhul immediately understands that someone was targeting her using their laser gun. He pushes Alia away from it and ends up falling on top of her. Suddenly, the laser gun's target shifts and the bullet casts a hole inside the car. Mayhul gets up from the ground and looks for the shooter, but he had managed to escape. I think the gang is onto us. They are hell-bent on turning the entire city into a graveyard. As they were about to step inside Dr. Sunjana's house, they notice that the door is locked with a password. They had to pick out the odd one out from this list. Can you guess? Think properly and let me know your answer in the comments below.
Since English, Spanish and French are all European languages, Chinese becomes the odd one out, as it's an Asian language, they press the correct option and enter the house. Dr. Sunjana was inside the lab, which was sealed and could only be opened with their fingerprints. Mehul opens the lab and they move inside. They saw that Dr. Sunjana was laying in her chair, with her headphones on. By looking at the scene, can you guess if she's sleeping or just listening to music? Notice that an ant is crawling on Dr. Sunjana's arm. This means she's fast asleep. Just then, Mehul wakes her up. Dr. Sunjana, you must have been in the lab for quite some time. That's why you have no idea what's going on outside. A gang is responsible for a chemical bomb blast, which has put the entire city to sleep. I'm about to visit scientist Bulbalea. These five men had already consumed the antidote to the chemical, used their blood to create an antidote for the entire city. Alia stays back with Dr. Sunjana to help her, and Mehul leaves to meet scientist Bulbalea. But to reach him, he had to cross a maze. Can you help him reach the other side? Which route should he choose? A, B, or C? Comment down your answer. Route A reaches the scientist, somewhat like this. He starts moving forward on the road, but suddenly, an army of fighters surround Mehul's car and open fire on him. There were six people and had Jaikal army, written on their clothes. Impossible. Jaikal's army. But he's been on the run for years now. The army begins shooting off Mehul's car's tires and puncture it. But since the car was bulletproof, Mehul was safe and sound. They start moving towards the car while still firing bullets. I won't be able to survive if I get out of the car. I'll have to put my car's special abilities to test today. He presses the red button beside the steering wheel and out comes a gun from the sides of the car. It instantly starts firing bullets and kills all of Jaikal's army within seconds. I have to reach scientist Bulbalea discreetly or else Jaikal's army will attack me again. He hides his car in the bushes of the forest and reaches the scientist's house on foot. Even though the main door was locked, Mehul understands that Bulbalea was inside the house. But how? Can you guess? Notice that water is running down the pipe on the side. This means that someone is using the loo. Mehul immediately enters the house and is shocked upon seeing what was going on inside. Someone had tied the scientist's hands and legs and had also taped his mouth. They had tied him inside the bathroom and the floor was flooded with water. This must be the water running from the pipe. Mehul rushes towards the scientist and frees him from the bondage. The scientist then narrates how some people tied him inside the washroom, stole something from his lab and escaped. He somehow managed to break the pipeline so as to provide a signal to Mehul. You're on the toes thinking saved you today. But, the question remains, why did those people spare your life? Interesting. Very interesting. Both of them then, moved towards the lab inside the scientist's house. But it was locked with a password. What's the code? Scatterbrain Bulbalea then tells Mehul that he has forgotten the password. You're probably one of the smartest people I know. You invent new things every day. And yet you can't remember a single password? What should we do now? The scientist then tells Mehul that through the forgot password option, the system will present a puzzle. They can solve it and enter the lab. By looking at this image, can you guess which one of these is the odd one out? A, B, or C? Think properly and let me know your answer in the comments below. Notice that this part is missing in picture C, hence it is the odd one out. Mehul chooses the correct options and enters the lab. I wonder what they stole from here. Both of them scan and examine the lab carefully and just then, the scientist yells to announce that they had run away with the gas launcher. What is a gas launcher? What does it do? The scientist then explains Mehul that as the name suggests, the machine is used to launch a large amount of gas in the air. For example, if we need to spread a fragrance throughout the city, you can use the gas launcher. Interesting. This means they use this gas launcher to spread the chemical gas all over the city, which has made people unconscious. Just then, Mehul hears a beeping sound and the lights go off. There's a bomb here. Open your secret room immediately. 
They entered the room and a huge bomb blast closed the house. Someone had planted a bomb in order to kill them. Scientist, we have to ready the antidote of the gas as soon as possible. We managed to save our lives today, but tomorrow might not be the same. I have asked Dr. Sunjana to start working on it instantly. Just then, Nehul hears a helicopter. He looks outside the window only to find three of them hovering above the house. Seems like Jaikal's army is here to kill us again. He grabs a telescope from the lab and decides to use to gauge the number of people against them. There were three windows in front of him. Can you guess from which of these should Mayhul stake out? A, B, or C? Notice that there is no roof above the first window, he will be clearly visible to the enemies from here. Look at the third window, it has a roof and it's close to a tree. From here, Mayhul can easily look at all the three helicopters without being spotted. Hence, he should choose this one. He carefully places the telescope on the third window and sees that several men surrounded the building and were fully armed. He also recognized Surya, Jaikal's best friend in one of the helicopters. Just then, Surya spots Mayhul and exclaims. He is still alive. Nahul then tells the scientist that he needs ammunition to face the Jaikal army. The scientist then brings out two revolvers with blasting bullets. This meant that whatever surface the bullets came in contact with, exploded within seconds. Suddenly, Surya and all of Jaikal's army start open firing on Bull Balea's house. The only way for Mayhul and the scientist to escape, was through those three windows. Can you guess which one of these should Mayhul choose? Think properly and let me know your answer in the comments below. There is a stack of hay under the first window, if he jumps from here, he won't get hurt. Below the second window is wet mud, he won't get hurt here too. But, he will be clearly visible to the Jaikal army from both these windows. They will open fire on Mayhul with no bounds. Since the third window is shadowed by a tree, he can easily move out from here without being noticed. Scientist, I am leaving. Lock all the windows immediately after I leave. Mayhul jumps towards the tree, leaps on a branch and climbs onto the top. He starts firing from this hidden spot, aiming towards Jaikal Army's helicopters. He targets the blades of the helicopter and strikes, causing a loud blast. It loses balance and starts falling to the ground. It makes way towards a tree and crashes into it, boisterously. Just as Mayhul was about to target the second helicopter, he is spotted by Surya. He throws a hand grenade towards Mayhul. He is left with no option but to jump from the tree and the grenade explodes in the air. As a result of falling from a great height, Mayhul is injured. All this while, Surya keeps bombarding Mayhul with bullets. Mayhul somehow manages to crawl and hide behind a tree. On the other hand, Dr. Sunjana was at the lab, leaving no stone unturned to make the antidote, using the fake policeman's blood. Dr. Sunjana draws out blood from one of the members of the Jaikal army and moves to the other room to test it. Just then, one of them gains consciousness. He picks up a big scissor kept on the side table and slowly itches towards Alia. Even though she was busy with the game, she was able to notice the man coming towards her on the screen. She turns, get up from the chair and kicks him so hard that he flies off to the other side. She injects him and makes him doze off again. Dr. Sunjana hands over an injection to Alia, which was filled with 5 milliliters of dosage and was capable of rendering a person unconscious for 8 whole hours. The doctor planned to make them sleep for 16 hours each. How many injections will Alia need to make each of them sleep for 16 hours? Can you guess? Think and let me know your answer in the comments. Let's now look at the answer. If one injection of 5 milliliters is capable of rendering one of them unconscious for 8 hours, then, for 16 hours, each will require 2 injections. And since there are 5 men, 2 times 5 is 10. Hence, Alia will need 10 injections. Alia injects all of them, one by one. They were now in a deep sleep for 16 hours and Alia is back to enjoying the detective IQ game on her phone. On the other side, the firing outside the scientist's house hadn't stopped for even a second. Bull Balea was scouring through gadgets to help Detective Mayhul. 
Surya pulls out his sniper gun and targets Mehul strategically. Fortunately, the bullet misses Mehul, but just by an inch. Mehul knew that hiding was not going to bring about any result. So he bravely comes to the foreground and starts shooting in the air towards Jaikal Army's helicopters. Luckily, one of the bullets hit the helicopter, resulting in a massive explosion. Surya was extremely enraged and started resorting to bombs and grenades, instead of guns, beside Mehul, injuring him brutally. He struggles to get up but fails. Just then, Surya's helicopter is seen racing towards Mehul. Mehul was badly injured due to the bomb thrown by Jaikal's best friend Surya. He was bleeding profusely and his clothes were now torn from all sides. He was lying on the floor, unable to move and growling in pain. Meanwhile, Surya brings out his helicopter over Mehul's head and starts laughing. Mehul, no one can save you now. Get ready to die. I have to do something. If I don't survive, then who will save the city? Just then, Mehul spots a wooden stick next to him. He grabs and throws it high in the air. It hits the blades on the helicopter and ends up disbalancing it. To save himself, Surya jumps out of the helicopter while it rams into a tree and crashes on the ground. Owing to the great fall, Surya was rendered unconscious. Taking advantage of the situation, Mehul walks up to Surya and breaks his neck, killing him then and there. After this, Mehul starts running out of there immediately. Can you guess why? Why did Mehul choose to escape, instead of patting Surya down and looking for clues? Look at the pummeled helicopter next to Surya's dead body. Notice that fuel is leaking out of it. This means it can explode any time. Mehul's whole body was stiff and injured, but he was somehow trying to limp out of there. Just then, the helicopter lights on fire and boomingly blows it. A part of it flies out and hits Mehul on the head. This knocked Mehul out immediately. On the other hand, Bull Balea was lost in thought. It's been an hour since I last heard any noise. I'm pretty sure Mehul has destroyed the Jaikal army by now. I should go and check it out. He moves out of the house and couldn't spot Mehul, but he still understands that the Jaikal army had been vanquished. But how? Can you guess? The scientist remembered that the Jaikal army had come with three helicopters and could see all three of them, demolished on the ground. He was left utterly stunned when he suddenly spots Mehul, injured and passed out, on the ground. Without wasting another second, the scientist carried him to his lab and administered him with an ultra-powered injection, through which Mehul regains consciousness. Scientist, you need to take me to Dr. Sunjana immediately. My knee is hurt very badly. They somehow managed to reach the lab, but the door was locked using a logical password. Look at these pictures carefully. Can you guess which one of these is the odd one out? It's the moon, since all other pictures are of planets and the moon is Earth's natural satellite. Bull Balea clicks on the moon's picture, opens the door and carries him inside. Alia looks at Mehul's condition and was so stunned that she drops her phone on the floor and rushes to give him a shoulder. Dr. Sunjana runs towards them too. She was teary-eyed, looking at Mehul's distorted body. Alia starts tearing up too. Stop crying and start treating me instantly. We have the whole city to save. They carefully place him on the operation table and Dr. Sunjana begins the treatment. She gives him the general anesthesia and starts operating on his knee. On the other side of the wall, a robot enters the room. Let me throw this robot out. Alia wait, don't touch it, this is a robot bomb. It has a time bomb fitted inside it, which can blast at any moment. Mayhul sir is still in surgery, you will have to do something. Without wasting a moment, Bull Balea puts on his rubber gloves and uses a screw instrument to detach the frontal part of the robot. The bomb was attached using multiple wires, but one of these connections are wrong. Which one? Can you guess? Think properly and let me know your answers in the comments below. The fourth one has a faulty wiring. Food is required for the upkeep of a person. Fuel is required for the upkeep of a car. And bat ball is required for the upkeep of the cricket sport. But, the road is not responsible for the upkeep of a bike. Hence, this sequence is wrong. Bull Balea scientist understands this immediately and cuts the black wire to defuse the bomb. Sir I had heard a lot about you. Today I have even witnessed your excellence. 
Next, Alia, Dr. Sunjana and scientist Bol Balea wait for Mehul to regain consciousness post his surgery. Two hours later, Mehul finally comes back to his senses. Soon, Dr. Sunjana gives him a pink tablet, then a blue tablet, and then a white tablet. But that's not all, Mehul is required to eat one more pill. Dr. Sunjana is giving these pills based off of a pattern. So, can you guess which one of these could be the next tablet in line? A, B, C, or D? Think and let me know your answer in the comments below. Notice that all the tablets handed over to Mehul are round in shape. Hence, this pill will be the next in line. Dr. Sunjana makes him gobble it down and asks him to rest. No doctor, the city is in trouble. I can't afford to waste any more time. Tell me, where are we with the details of the antidote? Did you gain any information through the blood of men of Jaikal army? She then explains to Mehul that a special DNA had been used to create the antidote. Formulating it without the special DNA belonging to a specific person would not be possible. Just then, Bol Bulea chimes into the conversation. When Mehul caught Jaikal five years ago, I kept some of his hair strands in my lab. We should to try to match both the DNAs. Suddenly Mehul receives a call. It's my informant. This means he is safe from the bomb blast. But how? Come to Dr. Sunjana's office immediately. I am hurt and injured. We have to save the entire city. Soon, Mehul's informant walks inside the room. He has a huge hat and tinted glasses on. Sir, at least 10 to 15 of our men are absolutely fine and healthy. They are currently in a hideout within the city. We had a special mask which helped us save ourselves. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Contact everyone and build a Mehul army. We have to defeat Jaikal at any cost. Next, Bulbulea and the informant proceed towards the scientist's house, but he had created a maze to reach it. Can you guess which one of the roads should they choose? A, B, or C? Let me know your answer in the comments below. Root B reaches the house, somewhat like this. They pick the correct road and reach the scientist's house. Bulbulea presents the informant with various guns and ammunition and also numerous biscuit bombs. These are biscuit bombs. They look like ordinary biscuits, but they explode as soon as someone steps on them. From there, Bulbulea and the informant disperse from each other's company. The informant leaves to contact the Mehul army and Bulbulea carries Jaikal's hair strand DNA back to Dr. Sunjana's office. He also took some biscuit bombs and a special gun with him. He then hands them over to Mehul. But just then, a man follows the scientist inside the lab. How did he guess the password to the lab? Who is he? Mehul immediately figures out that he wasn't a human, but a robot. How? Can you guess? Notice the marks left by him on the ground. They don't look like footsteps, but like wheels. Mehul gets up from the bed and calls out for Alia. Alia, use your karate skills and kick him out instantly. But before she could do anything, the robot releases a green-colored gas which spread all across the room. It was only a matter of time till the green gas covered the entire room. Before Alia could reach the robot, she starts to lose consciousness. Everyone starts feeling dizzy. Just then, Dr. Sunjana presses a red button which exudes oxygen into the lab to neutralize the chemical gas effect. She then starts opening all vents inside the lab. There was a vent near the ceiling and two near the floor. Soon, the green colored gas is flushed outside and Dr. Sunjana manages to save everyone. Alia, go after the robot. Don't let it escape. Alia runs after him but fails to find him. We can't wait for any longer. We are getting attacked wherever we go. He then turns to Bol Bulea. Scientist, you and Dr. Sunjana should start the preparation of the antidote. Till then, Alia and I will assess the situation outside. He then hands over some biscuit bombs to Alia. She helps Mehul to get up from the bed, and they leave to gather information on Jaikal. Alia was driving and Mehul kept an eye out for the entire city. Alia be very careful. Jaikal army can attack us anytime. While they were on their way, they stop at an intersection as Mehul was convinced that a man hiding there. But why? Can you guess? Notice the shadow on the sidewall. Mehul saw this and knew that a man was hiding here. 
Alia, park the car at a safe spot immediately. I think the Jaikal army is here. She instantly parks the car beside a house under a tree. They get out of the car and take shelter in the house. As they make themselves comfortable, they hear a loud noise and notice that their car had exploded. They look out of the window and the Jaikal army was standing on the other side of the road. They had torpedoed the car using the bomb launcher. If we didn't take a stop here, we would have exploded with the car. Thank God I noticed the man's shadow. This is why you're the best detective in the world. Nothing misses your sight. Suddenly, the Jaikal army sprout a grenade using the bomb launcher. It destroys the roof completely and was just about to fall upon Mayhul. He has three routes to escape this attack. First, he can run from the front of the house. Second, to climb to the terrace. And third, to jump out of the window behind him. Can you guess which one is the safest for Mayhul and Alia? Jaikal army is right outside the front door and the roof is barely intact. So, the safest route for them would be to jump out of the back window. They make a run for the window and successfully climb out of the burning house. The house slowly crumbles down in the background. Mayhul then pulls out his bullet blasting gun and shoots one of the members of the Jaikal army and kills him right on the spot. On the other side, Alia sneaks up near the Jaikal army and notices that there were four people firing on Mayhul. She pulls out a biscuit bomb from her pocket. But these are activated only when someone steps on them. Where should Alia place the biscuit bombs so as to make sure that the Jaikal army ends up stepping on them? Can you guess? Notice that in order to escape, the Jaikal army will have to run towards the back. And hence they will have to use the cafe door, as it's the only way to reach the back in the vicinity. Alia carefully throws the biscuit bomb near the cafe door and yells on top of her voice. There's a bomb! A bomb! Upon hearing this, the Jaikal army panics and they start running towards the cafe's door. Just then, one of them steps on the biscuit bomb and explodes instantly. We are giving our best to fight the Jaikal army and save the city. Subscribe to the channel to help us and become part of our team. By now, Jaikal army was scared out of their wits and Mayhul's informant reaches the location with Mayhul army. Seeing so many people against them, Jaikal's army surrenders instantly. Now it's time for Mayhul army to carry on the action. Then, Mayhul begins interrogating the members of the Jaikal army. The first one says, I was paid heftily to be a part of the gang. He also gave us a special injection to save ourselves. The second one says, I am very poor. I needed money. I had no option but to join the Jaikal army. The third man says, I have been working with Jaikal for quite some time now, but I have no knowledge about his secret den. Upon listening to all three of them, Mayhul immediately understands which one of them was lying. Can you guess? Think hard and let me know your answer in the comments below. The second man is lying. Notice that he is laden with gold and silver jewelry. He was definitely lying about being poor. Don't act smart and tell me the location of Jaikal's den immediately. Mayhul then places his gun on the man's forehead. He was scared out of wits and blurts out the details of the den's location at once. Sir, Jaikal has set camp in Hotel Regent. He plans on blowing up the entire city. Mayhul briefs his informant about his punctured car that he hid in the forest and asks him to bring back to him. He then leaves with Alia and the Mayhul army for Hotel Regent. There were three branches of Hotel Regent in the city. Can you guess out of which one is Jaikal executing his plan? A, B, or C? Notice that a helicopter's blade are visible on the roof of the third hotel. This means Jaikal is here. Alia, wait here. I will proceed inside. He leaves half of Mayhul army's members outside with Alia and takes half of them with him. They enter the hotel and start scanning it thoroughly. Soon, all of them reach the fifth floor of the building. It was completely empty, but a note was stuck on the sidewall. Mayhul, I knew you would find your way here. But remember, you are not leaving this hotel alive. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
This means someone informed Jaikal about our arrival. I'm sure someone from the Mehul army is a traitor. Mehul army came into existence today itself. Someone is double-crossing me. Just then, an emergency alarm starts ringing on Mehul's watch. There is a bomb here. We need to leave. They immediately start running towards the staircase, only to find that it was covered with mines. Sir, the stairs are full of mines. We cannot escape from here. He instantly dials Alia. Alia, someone is hiding in the hotel. He has planted a bomb here. Catch him immediately. Why did Mehul think that someone was hiding downstairs? Can you guess? When Mehul and his army ascended to the fifth floor, there was nothing on the stairs. But now it's full of mines. This means someone was looking for the perfect time to execute this, and was hiding till then. Alia runs to the other exit of the hotel, where she saw two members of the Jaikal army, escaping. Members of the Mehul army shoot them down instantly. Alia grabs and interrogates them regarding the bomb. They tell her that a time bomb is hidden on the fifth floor washroom. Alia quickly calls Mehul and informs him about the bomb. Mehul walks inside the washroom and it looked completely clear. But Mehul figured out the location of the bomb instantly. By looking at the scene, can you guess too? There are no hiding spots in the bathroom. But look at the toilet seat carefully. The lid is closed. This might be because of the bomb. Mehul opens the lid and finds the bomb inside. He pulls it out and loses his mind. The timer is down to the last 20 seconds. The bomb will explode. He runs out of the washroom and towards the elevators. Mehul army follows his lead, but the elevators were sealed shut. Jaikal army is leaving no stone unturned to kill us. The time bomb was about to blow up in 10 seconds. The lift was still shut and the stairs were covered in mines. Mehul was unable to find a way out of this mess. He quickly runs up to the window and throws the bomb out of it. It hits the tree below the building and bursts with a bang. The tree is left to ashes post the explosion. Mehul and his army was safe. Soon, Alia throws a rope to Mehul and all of them descend from the building. Mehul then turns to Alia. Someone from our team is working for Jaikal. They informed him about our arrival. He then decides to interrogate the entire army. Finally, he was suspicious of three men. He then decides to check their mobiles. By looking at these, can you guess which one is the traitor? A, B, or C? All of them have talked to an unknown person on WhatsApp and all of them have deleted their messages. But notice that the second man has deleted the chat today. The other two men have deleted the messages yesterday and Mehul army has been formed today itself. This means that he was the traitor. Mehul immediately kicks him out of the army and puts him in the same cell as the rest of the people of Jaikal army. Soon, Mehul's informant reaches there with his car. Mehul, Alia, and other members of the Mehul army reach Dr. Sanjana's lab at once. Dr. Sanjana was busy with testing the chemical gas while the scientist was screening Jaikal's hair for DNA. Mehul then asks Bol Bulea about the progress of the antidote. He tells Mehul that they were halfway there and the antidote would be ready soon. On the other hand, Jaikal had taken hostage, a building in the outskirts of the city and planned to take over the entire city. He had summoned two best scientists in the world who were making unique gadgets for him. The scientists had built a smoking apple for Jaikal. When dropped, this apple exudes a lot of smoke, thus hampering visibility. Soon, Jaikal, in his bulletproof helicopter, leaves to kill Mehul. He also carries many smoking apples with him. He hovers in the air above Dr. Sanjana's lab and starts firing on it using his AK-47. This is Jaikal. Initiate alert protocol. He is here to fight himself, this time. Before Mehul could do anything, Jaikal throws smoking apples, causing a lot of smoke in and around the lab. Doctor, you need to do something. Dr. Sanjana presses a button and fans beam out of the walls of the lab. This extracts the smoke and ensures visibility again. Mehul immediately runs towards the window and sees Jaikal retreating. Mehul understands why Jaikal came to the lab in the first place. Can you guess? Notice that when Jaikal came to the lab, there were four people in the helicopter, and now there are only three. 
This means that a member of the Jaikal army is around us. Mehul informs Alia about the situation and starts scanning the vicinity. Alia also joins the search operation. She enters a building and witnesses three doors in front of her and was left in doubt. But what kind of doubt? Can you guess? Notice that there are only one set of footprints outside door 2. Unlike door 1 and door 3, this could mean that someone is still inside room 2. She knocks on the door, but no one responds. She immediately calls Mehul. Sir, come to the opposite building instantly. There is someone here. As Mehul was running towards the building, a member of the Jaikal army jumps out of it and starts escaping. Mehul showers him with bullets, but he manages to escape. Now, Mehul was left with only one bullet. Can you guess where Mehul should aim it? Notice that there is our water tanks and an oil tank near the man. Mehul stops and aims the gun towards the oil tanker. The tanker blasts and the man bathes in oil. He slips and falls to the ground. Just then, Alia greets him from the other side and punches him hard. Mehul finally catches the member of the Jaikal army. Mehul drags the member of Jaikal army to Dr. Sanjana's lab and starts questioning him about Jaikal's whereabouts. But the man doesn't utter a word. Suddenly, scientist Bull Balea turns to Mehul. Mehul, I have a pill in my lab which will make him blurt out the entire truth. Just then Dr. Sanjana exclaims with joy and announces that the antidote was ready. Interesting, very very interesting. We can save the city now. Soon, Mehul and the scientist walk towards a house nearby. Everyone inside was in deep sleep because of the green gas. Can you guess, on which one of these people will the scientist test the antidote first? A, B, C, or D? The scientist will experiment on the old man first, because all other members are comparatively young and hence fit. This means they will also be less prone to the chemical gases side effects. Old people tend to have less stamina, thus, the vaccine might work even faster. You might have noticed how COVID vaccinations were begun with the 60-plus age groups in some parts of the world like India. The scientist carefully administers the vaccine and the old man regains consciousness within a few minutes. Where am I? What is happening? Why are my sons sleeping during the day? They should be at the office. Sir, all of you had fainted, but don't worry, we will take care of your whole family. Then, Mehul and Bol Balea head back to Dr. Sanjana's lab. It was locked using a mathematical password. Can you guess which number will replace the question mark? In the first equation, 2 squared is 4, minus 1, gives us 3. In the second one, 5 squared is 25, minus 2, gives us 23. Similarly, 4 squared is 16, minus 5, gives us 11. Hence, the code is 11. Mehul enters the correct password and both of them walk inside. Congratulations, doctor. We can officially announce that the antidote works. Dr. Sanjana tells Mehul that using Jaikal's DNA, they were able to make only one antidote. To save the entire city, they will need at least 100 milliliters of his blood. Interesting. This means I'll have to procure his blood. Only then we'll be able to save the city. Sir, this is a piece of cake for us. We will go to his den, render him unconscious and extract the blood. Simple. Alia, this is not the time to joke around. How will we reach Jaikal so easily? Do you have an idea through which Mehul can easily reach Jaikal's den? Some time ago, the scientist mentioned a pill which forces out the truth out of people post-consumption. Mehul can use it on the Jaikal army member and find out the den's exact location. He can also wear the man's Jaikal army t-shirt to blend in. Mehul then instructs Alia to stay with Dr. Sanjana and calls the entire Mehul army for the lab's protection. He then hops in the car with the scientist and leaves for his lab. He was speeding towards the lab as they couldn't afford to waste any more time. The scientist had built a maze to reach his lab. Which one of these routes open to the lab? A, B, or C? Can you guess? Think properly and let me know your answer in the comments below.
Route A opens to the lab, somewhat like this. They pick the correct road and reach the lab successfully. The scientist opens the door using his fingerprints and they enter the lab. Everything was all over the place and messed up. The Jaikal army must have broken in. The scientist opens a safe and procures the pills. They walk outside the lab and sit in the car. Suddenly, Mayhul realizes that someone was around him. But why did he think so? Can you guess? Notice the puddle on the floor. Someone's reflection is clearly visible in it. There is someone hiding on the tree above it. Jaikal's army must have been waiting for us. It is possible that he is not alone, but with numerous gang members. Mayhul looks around carefully and was convinced that they were surrounded by more people. But why? Can you guess? Out of all the trees in the vicinity, only few are moving. This might not be because of the wind, but because other members of the Jaikal army are hiding in them. Mayhul hands his revolver to the scientist and asks him to be alert. He then pulls out a number of biscuit bombs and throws them below the trees. Suddenly, the Jaikal army starts firing on their car from the trees. Since Mayhul's car was bulletproof, they were completely safe. He then presses a red button in his car. Suddenly, a huge pistol appears from within the front bonnet, which starts firing bullets at rapid speeds. Mayhul starts turning his car in the direction of the Jaikal army. One by one all of them start falling to the ground. The ones who did not get hit by the bullets, jump down to save themselves but end up stepping on the biscuit bombs. Soon, the firing stops and Mayhul steps out of the car. Just then, a member of the Jaikal army starts sneaking in towards Mayhul from behind. He also had a revolver on him. Scientist Bulbulea notices this and shoots him on the spot. Then, they quickly reach Dr. Sunjana's lab with the pills. They mix the pill with water and the man gulps it down. Slowly but surely, the pill shows its effects and the man starts getting intoxicated. Mayhul, the medicine is working. Start asking him questions before it wears out. From where is Jaikal operating his plan now? The man informs them that Jaikal had constructed a secret den in the forest and was executing the entire plan from there. The man also blurts out all other important information about Jaikal. Mayhul then wears the man's clothes. I am going to Jaikal's den and I will return with his blood. Let me tag along with you sir. No, it is very dangerous. Wait here and protect the others. After a lot of convincing from Alia and Dr. Sanjana, Mayhul finally agrees for Alia to accompany him. He then briefs the Mayhul army and commands them to take utmost care of the scientist and Dr. Sanjana. Mayhul and Alia finally reach the outskirts of the city, where Jaikal had constructed his lab. Interesting, very very interesting. It is such a deserted area, nothing is at sight till a distance. We will have to look around carefully. They move ahead further and Mayhul grew suspicious. Look at the trees in front, all of them seem to have been arranged in a single line. Most importantly, the area is spick and span and there is no grass or bushes near the trees. How could this be possible? How could an area in a dense forest be so clean? Who would come here to mend the ground? Alia, wait here. I will send you a signal through my watch, in case of danger. Alia climbs up a tree and Mayhul walks towards the lab. He finds two members of the Jaikal army near the trees. Since he was wearing Jaikal army merchandise too, they take him inside the lab. In the lab, Jaikal and his two scientists were preparing a red poisonous gas. Sir, the gas is ready. Whoever comes in contact with it will die instantly. This means Jaikal plans on killing the entire city. The sleeping gas was not enough. I need to wipe out the entire population of the city. They don't know what's coming for them. Soon, Jaikal summons his entire army. The moment this gas comes in contact with the citizens of the city, they will sleep forever. Just then, he notices Mayhul. No one from the Jaikal army had a watch on, except Mayhul. Who are you? Why are you wearing a watch? Sir, I am a member of Jaikal army batch 20. Mayhul killed my brother. To take revenge I've joined the army. Good, good. Jaikal then leaves for his room and his army gets back to work. Soon, Nightfall comes and Mayhul had been waiting for it patiently. He sneakily moves towards Jaikal's room. The room was locked with high-tech security systems, but Mayhul used his wit to get through them all. He opens the door to his room and proceeds inside. He pulls out a handkerchief from his pocket, it had chloroform in it. He puts it on Jaikal's nose and he faints instantly. He then extracts 100 milliliters of blood from his body. He then uses his watch to send a voice message to Alia. Alia, I have obtained Jaikal's blood. Call scientist Bulbulea and ask him to keep the gas launcher ready. 
she immediately calls Bull Bolea from the branch of the tree and gets him up to speed. I can't kill him right now, we might need his blood in the future. As soon as Mehul comes out of Jaikal's room, one of the members of the Jaikal army sees him. He starts firing on Mehul. Mehul extracts his gun too and kills him on the spot. But hearing the commotion, other members of the army come to the spot. Mehul hides behind a cooler, placed nearby, and starts firing on them. I can't fend them off alone. He notices that the cooler had wheels. He immediately takes its support and slides it towards the exit. The cooler picks up speed and Mehul manages to escape from there. Members of the Jaikal army follow him but fail to catch him. He finally reaches outside the den, but he is greeted by four more members of the Jaikal army. He checks his revolver and notices that it has only one bullet left. Just then, his eyes fall upon the jar of the red poisonous gas. Without wasting a second, he fires his last bullet on that jar and runs away. Members of the Jaikal army still kept firing and a bullet scraped Mehul's arm. But he manages to come out in the forest, while Jaikal's lab is full of the red gas, killing everyone. He meets Alia outside with Jaikal's blood. Sir, what happened to you? Nothing, it's just a little scrape. We need to reach Dr. Sunjana immediately. They reach her lab instantly. Due to Alia's call, Bull Balea scientist had already readied the gas launcher. Dr. Sunjana and the scientist use Jaikal blood and prepare the antidote's gas form within an hour. Soon, Mehul, Alia and everyone else, along with the Mehul army, reach the tallest building in the city. The scientist fits the antidote inside the gas launcher and presses a red button. Soon, through a huge explosion, a blue gas is spread throughout the city. Slowly but surely, all citizens of the city wake up from their deep sleep. Finally, Mayhul and his team was able to save the entire city. Detective Mayhul rocks, but did Jaikal survive the red gas explosion at his lab? Let's find out in the next episodes. Thank you.